Holy sh**. And then one of the meanest catfish species on earth. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Before we get into all the crazy stuff I have planned for today, I wanna to take you all inside the Fish King warehouse where we are right now and give you an update on our 8,000 gallon pond as well as the room. Come with me. So as you all can see, it is so dusty in here. I mean, look. It's all over everything. But let me tell you guys, I have a crazy surprise for you all in this room. Wait till you all see my 8,000 gallon aquarium and how it looks. Cue the music, the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's come on inside and see how it looks. Are y'all ready for this? Yeah. Well, y'all are it. The 8,000 gallon aquarium is finished. It's done, guys. What do you all think? Isn't this amazing? I mean, there's literally just like five inches of dust and concrete everywhere, but it's done. It's ready for fish. Um, there's no glass windows in it because we actually broke all four of the windows. Last video I showed you all on the tank, we'd only broken one. But we ended up breaking the three other ones on accident. So yeah, guys, now if you look at my aquariums that are in here, luckily there's no fish in these. It's covered in dust. It's, look, that's, that's crazy. So my goal moving forward is I want to update you guys in every single video that I do on our 8,000 gallon aquarium because this is such a big project. It's one of the largest fish aquariums on YouTube owned privately. So basically, long story short, it is an absolute crap show over here. The tank is not ready for water. It's a disaster. Come inside and look at this real quick. This is going to blow your guys' mind. When we had the tank leaking, it was because of the windows that were in here. So basically what I made them do was cut all this concrete out to give us a nice big window seal. So in effect, they cut all four of these out and basically all of the stuff that you're seeing all over the floor and all over everything is all concrete dust from that procedure. We have brand new windows coming into the Fish King warehouse. So the pond should be up and running in the next four weeks. I really hope this fixes it, guys. My fingers are crossed because this pond has literally been the biggest pain in the butt. But I promise you guys, once we get this tank up and running, it's gonna be so sick. It's gonna be one of the sickest ponds on YouTube. So make sure to stay tuned for that, guys, because we have massive plans coming here. I know I've been saying that for a very long time now, but I think that we've done the right job cutting all the concrete out. We're gonna put brand new windows in there and it should be 100% leak proof and ready for some monster fish. Now I know it looks absolutely terrible in here, but I promise you guys, I'm gonna work so hard to get this tank done. So many people have been asking me about it and I absolutely love you guys. So I am grinding to get this tank fixed. I'm literally spending all the money that I have to fix this tank, guys. This is one of the most expensive projects that I've ever done in my life. And over the last week, guys, I've been thinking, the 8,000 gallon pond needs a name. It needs something for people to know it everywhere in the world. It needs something for you guys to call it. I'm gonna name it the BPITB. Say that at home with me, the BPITB pond. The biggest pain in the butt pond on earth. That is what that is, guys, the BPITB pond. This thing has caused me so many problems, it cost me thousands of dollars, but I continue for some reason. I can literally take my shirt off here and do a snow angel. in the concrete, look at that. In front of my 8,000 gallon pond. That is what it's come to, a little like a snow angel, guys. Can you all believe that? But now with all that said, I am gonna continue to update you guys on this room in the next video, so make sure to subscribe for that. But right now, we need to head home because we have a very special someone bringing me a monster man-eating fish six hours away from Michigan. So let's cut to my house, guys. You all are gonna be mind blown. All right, guys, he's here right now. Andy's outside. He just drove six hours from Michigan to bring this man-eating fish to us. Let's head outside and see what he brought us. I'm so pumped up right now. It's gonna be crazy. What's up, hey, dude? man, how's it going? Doing all right? How was yeah. the drive down here, man? I was telling you, you drove six hours yeah, to come see us. Michigan all the way down here to Lexington. It's quite the drive, but it's a lot better than going towards Chicago way. Dude, the fish hobby's strong, huh? Yeah. It's crazy. There's a lot of us out there, guys. Let's pop the trunk up and let's see what he brought us. I promise you guys, you all have probably never even seen this fish before. Oh, 
Holy smokes, dude, I'm freaking out right now. And he brought this fish to us 100% free. So huge shout out to Andy. He was a fan of the channel, wanted to bring this fish to us. And eventually this fish will go in our 8,000 gallon pond when it quits leaking, which is probably never, but you know, we're hopeful, right? Let's open this up, dude. I'm so pumped. Holy shit. Look at this fish, bro. There's no way. There is no way. This is a man-eating catfish, one of seven, if I can remember correctly. Oh my gosh, look at the colors on this fish, guys. Had to be super careful. He had a long, long, long drive. Oh my, look at the spots. Gosh, guys, I cannot wait to get this in our giant pond. Dude, you hooked it up, man. Yeah, Thank man. you so much. How long have you had this fish for? Um, I have had him for about a year and a half now, from three inches. So he was just a tiny baby when Andy first got him, and now he is gonna be a future monster. I believe these guys grow over four foot long, and they're one of the meanest catfish species on earth, and they're even known to eat humans in the Amazon, which is unbelievable. I mean, guys, I cannot get over the colors on this fish. Look at the spots on the head. Guys, we need to go inside right now. Andy has another stop to make on the way back home. Dude, thank you so much, man. Yeah, man. I am so grateful, guys. Make sure to go show Andy some love down in the comments because he brought this fish six hours away for free just for us to have here on the channel so we can watch it grow massive and turn into a man-eating catfish. All right, guys, welcome to my beautiful fish room. Crazy, man, it's crazy. I'm just kidding, this is looking a little bit rough. This is actually the basement of my parents' house. Right now, with all the construction going on at the Fish King warehouse, as you all just saw before, I couldn't risk having all the dust in my tanks. So I brought all my fish here in my parents' unfinished basement. And right now, I'm gonna show you all a quick run through of all the fish that we have while our Jiao Jiao catfish is acclimating over there in this tank. All right, first tank right here, guys. I know it's been a while. This is my baby clown knife fish. Not a whole lot going on. You can see there, look at the pattern on that fish. That is insane. They can swim backwards. That is what's so unique about them. They're also super invasive in South Florida. Pop a picture up right here. I actually caught some about a month ago. That was so insane. That's it for the knife fish over here in this pond right here. Now you guys can look super closely, but check that out. That is a hyphen shark. Now these guys get about four to five foot long. He is just a baby. And I got that guy from Global Fish Co. up in New Jersey. And then you have to look even closer. There's one more really, really rare fish in here and I can't even find it right now. Oh, there it is. The camera woman found it first before I did. That is a jelly catfish. The world's ugliest fish that you'll ever see right there. Looks similar to a flathead catfish, but the colors are absolutely wild. And guys, I wanna do a little happy dance because my Jiao Jiao is almost an acclimating, but we got a couple more tanks to show you all. Right here, this is Gibby, my flower horn, and I just did water changes on all these tanks. That is why the fish look really stressed out. So I did water changes, the fish look stressed out, they look really ugly, but trust me, when this guy's colors are popping and the lights are on, he looks insane. So we got Gibby right here, just chilling, doing awesome, and he's eventually gonna be moved over to the Fish King warehouse as a fish ambassador for people to come see. And then in this tank, it looks like there's not much in here, guys. This is a 40 gallon tank with two turtles that are worth $2,000. These are my freshwater sea turtles, yes. That sounds like that makes zero sense, freshwater sea turtles, but these are actually the only species of freshwater turtle that don't need any land to survive. So they're basically more like a fish. And I wanna take one of these guys out for you all. I've never taken them out. They are actually brother and sister, but check out how cool this turtle is. I did a video on it last week. This is actually a pig nose fly river turtle. Hence the name, look how cute this little guy is. They can just live in this entire tank without any land, which is so unique. And guys, these turtles are about $2,000 each. And my wife named them. This is the big update for you guys. So this is Frank right here. And this is Dino. This is Dino, his little brother. This is our brand new flyer that we just got. And look at how amazing this thing is. He's got a flippers too. These are just like a sea turtle and they're also in danger, which makes them so unique, guys. So make sure to say hello to Frank and Dino, our two baby fly river turtles. And I promise you guys, all this stuff is gonna be over at the Fish King Warehouse very, very soon. That face is to die for. I love these guys. So that is really it for all the stuff that I have right now. I'm gonna be buying a ton more stuff, but this is all just temporary. So if you pan over here, we got our two tanks, our giant pond where a bunch of new monster fish are about to go into, which is gonna be insane. I can't wait to show you all that. But today, the star of the show, 
is this guy right here in the bin, the Jiao Jiao catfish, which is gonna be housed in a 75 gallon tank to be quarantined because it could have some sickness, some diseases. Maybe Andy's water is a little bit different than mine. So we just wanna make sure it's nice and healthy before we add this fish in with the other monster fish. Actually, I don't have any monster fish, so I lied to you guys. Um, it feels weird to say that because I'm so used to having fish. So let's open this guy up. I just acclimated him. Oh my gosh. I hope you guys are just excited as I am. The live feedings on this fish are gonna be insane. Like I literally have to be super careful right now because this fish could bite my hand and literally send me to the hospital, which would be a terrible day. Now this is a really big fish and this is the biggest net that I could possibly buy. So I'm gonna have to be super careful. I don't wanna damage him at all. A Jow Jow catfish for the Monster Fish King channel. Here we go, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. splash, no, no, no. Guys, the fish is in the tank. Did that just happen? Yeah. The fish is in the tank safely. The jow jow on the way out, it knocked off the glass. Was that me or the jow? You. Oh my gosh. He's already destroying <laughs> stuff. Look at how crazy that Did that just happen, yo? Yeah. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. We have glass everywhere. This is actually the fourth glass lid I've broken in the last month. I guess I just knocked it off. Oh, but look at that fish, guys. Look at that fish. One day he'll be longer than this entire tank. Just imagine our massive Jow Jow. I love saying that word. Say Jow Jow one time for me. Jow Jow. Guys, I hope you are just as pumped as I am to have this fish on the Fish King YouTube channel. I'm gonna make this the most famous and biggest monster catfish on all of YouTube. And the crazy thing is, this fish has to be alone because it will eat whatever I possibly put in this tank right now. So he will have no tank mates because these fish cannot make friends. They literally eat everything that will possibly fit in their mouth. Also, camera lady is cleaning up all this glass. Golly, we made a massive mess. I mean, literally I've gone through so many of these aquarium tops. Um, I think the glass is just honestly not that strong. Is that what it is? No, it's you. Yeah, I'm the worst, guys. I literally destroy everything, um, but I'm just so excited to have this fish in there. Luckily, he didn't get hurt or anything like that. It was literally just the net, actually. Once I watched the replay, it knocked it off. It shattered it, but the tank is gonna be amazing. I'm gonna have a temporary lid on here. So what I need you guys to do right now is go down below in the comment section and comment your best name for our Jow Jow man-eating catfish, the one with the most likes I will be liking, and we will be naming this fish that name and you'll be able to see it in the upcoming videos this is literally just the beginning and i cannot wait to show you all some updates on this fish and all the feeding videos but now i need to show you all what i'm going to do to make sure this fish has no parasites now like i said this fish needs to be quarantined we'll worry about the glass later that is a huge mess that camera girl had to sweep up also known as my wife um <laughs> but right here this is some polyguard watch what this does so this basically protects the fish against bacterial, fungal, parasitic diseases. And it's always good to use this stuff. I literally use this stuff like, it's Nesquik chocolate milk powder. I just like put a bunch of it in here. So watch what it does with the water. This is actually gonna keep our Jow Jow from getting any kind of infection. So I'm gonna put one scoop in per 10 gallons. This is a 75 gallon tank. So do the math on that, Chase. It's about 11 scoops. No. 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 Seven, eight scoops. It's Seven and a half. All right, I'm getting exposed. Um, but watch what it does this water. So it's gonna make it blue. At this point, I don't know how many I've added, but I've added a lot. And this is like adding food dye to your aquarium, but this stuff actually prevents them from getting sick. So you know when you get sick guys at home and you take medicine, this is the same, but this is actually like vitamins and whatever other jit. So the water is turning blue. This is exactly what we want. My fingers are also turning blue. Uh, if you get this on your clothes, it's never coming off, mind you. Jeez. So for those of y'all watching at home, that is a little life hack. This Sea Kim Polyguard, non-sponsored yet. Um, but yeah, my hands are so blue. So guys, this is a true man-eating catfish. I am so fired up. I cannot wait to watch this guy grow. I promise you guys, we're gonna have the biggest, the largest, most insane catfish on the entire internet. I promise you all, I'm gonna do a live feeding very, very soon. So if you wanna see that, make sure to like this video, 
comment down below, hit the subscribe button. The support means the world to me. And now I'm gonna get inside of the tank. No. Yes. No. Let me get inside the tank. No. Yes, I'm getting in there with my new catfish, guys. <laughs> I always, every time I get new fish, I'm not taking my shorts off. I'm, I get inside the tank. No. Should I do it? No, you can't fit. Should I actually do it? No. I don't care what you say, I'm getting in. Make room for daddy, big boy. Ah, it's got my foot, it's got my foot, help. Put the camera down, put the camera down, help, 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 ah!